Why am I making this video? Uh, T, uh, turn on the camera. Wh why, why are you making this video? Oh, yeah, because I'm bored. I have nothing else to do. I need to get this out, okay? Uh, you see the title. Three awkward experiences with girls. Uh, let's get into them. <laughs> I've experienced all these. Not to rank them, but let's just get into this. The first one. Eighth grade. We were at a holiday assembly. <laughs> we were at a holiday assembly. You know, they can't say Christmas because, you know, like, different religions and stuff like that. So, in, like, we're, like, right, by, by eighth grade, you're over the holiday assembly. Like, sixth grade, oh, this is so cool. This is amazing. Seventh grade, like, didn't we already do this? And eighth grade, they're like, yeah, we're over this. We're the cool kids, okay? We're just going to be on our phone the whole time. You know, and they said no phones, and the teachers, like, I mean, a teacher said no phone, and we're like, uh, we don't, we don't care. Screw you. And so, I was sitting on the edge of the bleachers next to this girl named Megan, and we were just having a conversation, and a kid named Gavin, he walks up to her, and she's like, and she's like, he's like, can I have my phone back? And she said, no. And she's like, I know your password. And they start talking back and forward. I'm like, what was that about? She's like, oh, I took his phone. I'm like, where'd you put it? She said, in my bra. And I'm like, what? Yeah. And she's like, she's like, yeah. I'm like, uh, uh, okay. And then this is the awkward part. <laughs> oh, thinking back in hindsight, I just cringe. It was so, it, it must have been so obvious. I took out my phone from my pocket. And I sat it next to me on the bleachers, and I said, here's my phone, right here, okay? She's like, yeah. And in my head, I'm like, I wanted to put my phone in her bra. And so we just sat there, the whole, the whole assembly, my phone sitting next to me. It, that was, it, 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 was, very, it was very awkward. <laughs> that was the very awkwardest thing that ever happened. Now, I'm thinking back on it, I regret if that ever happened, and my face probably turned red. So, um, long story short, I wanted a girl to stick her phone in her bra. Or, my phone in her bra. Anyway, moving on. Next, second, embarrassing, not embarrassing, just awkward. So, we're in the library. It's seventh grade time now, and I'm playing an Uno. But if you want, like, this whole conversation is the most it's the awkward part. So, we're sitting there with my friend, Sarah. And we've been friends for 6th grade. We're still friends in 7th grade. I'm sitting there with Peyton, one of my ex-girlfriends. And then the current girl that I like, her name is Jalen. She comes up, and she's like, LT, yeah, I know you like me. Yeah, but I am like you like that. And I'm like, do we have to have this conversation with my ex-girlfriend and... Like, one of my best friends in here. And so, Sarah and Peyton both plug their ears. Like, like they're still there. And so, Jalen, like, and so I and walks off. And I'm like, well, there goes that relationship. Oh, why did that even have to happen? Why did that have to happen? Oh, my freaking gosh. And then, um... Yeah, I was I was not the smartest person in seventh grade, <laughs> but yeah, that would that was very awkward. Okay, the third thing that I could think of my twenty two day relationship with my I mean technically second girlfriend. Uh, yeah, it was, it was like October twenty second of of uh, twenty seventeen when we started. It was uh very awkward. So I um, met a girl named Bailey. We. Where we talked for a couple of days, and then I text her friend Isabel, Isabel lot whatever, and I'm like I like Bailey, and she's like oh, she's coming over to your table. We were at lunch, and so I'm like, will you be my girlfriend? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. In my head, I'm like, did I? I don't know. What are you supposed to do after you say yeah? So I said yay, like. Like, like that. I didn't yell it. I'm just like, yay. And I'm like, what the frick was that? I regret that part. But the whole relationship, honestly, was the awkward part. Something to happen. We were sitting at lunch one day. And she leaned over to me and said, it's not true. And then she said, hey, guys, I'm pregnant. 
And there was about like, five of her little girl's friends there, or whatever they're called. That was, that was, how do you think that made me feel? Like, I'm the only guy at this table with a total of six girls there. She leans over to me and says, it's not true. And she said, hey guys, I'm pregnant. Who do you think, if her boyfriend, which would be me at the time, sitting there, and like, hey, that obviously means mean I got her pregnant. I'm like, oh no. <laughs> I think some of them actually believed her. But no one actually came up to me like, so, did you get baby pregnant? I'm like, no, you idiot. And, um, so yeah, that, that would, that would one embarrass me. The next thing, I actually, like, hyped up kissing her or whatever. It, it, so I was talking to my friend Chandler, touched her, like, okay, I'm going to kiss her at the school dance. Deal? Done. Kind of like, uh, one coming up. And so, he told her, so she just expected it. And, oh, it, it, was, it was bad. It was so bad. And then, the next, like, the last hour fan thing, the dance itself. I mean, what would I like? I was four nine. She's five foot eight. A, a totally mismatched height difference. And so what happened was it was uh five forty seven p.m. Um, we were in the high school gym. Uh, and uh, eighth grade. By the way, this took place. And um, I was thinking, how do I, how do I, tell her. Like, how do I get in position to kiss or anything? Because, what, uh, so I'm like, okay, she's 5'8". There's no way I'm going to be able to get on my tippy toes and get that high to kiss her. So I'm like, okay, I wish I have a secret to tell her. And so that way she'll bend down and then I can kiss her that way. I'm like, okay, that's a genius strategy. And then she actually initiated. She's like, okay, I have to, like, she had to go to one of her sweepo. She's like, okay, time, I have to go. And then, like, like I didn't even know she would call it a kiss. It was like 0.5 milliseconds. I mean, sometimes I refer to it as my first kiss. Sometimes I don't. Because, like, in a, in a flash, it was over. Like, boop. Yeah, it, 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 was, it was quick. I don't I remember lip to lip. I don't remember that part. It was the most awkward awkward thing in in the entire freaking world. I wish that never happened. A couple things I just think about it off my head. Um another thing from seventh grade. Um it was me, my friend Nate, and um my friend Emma. And we were in the library and I think I was what, fifteen at the time? And I'm like I'll date any girl that's 16 or under and single. Hey, Mom. Huh? What's up? I, I'm sure it is pleased to do. You can't use it. Okay. So, I said i date any girl that is 16 and under and is single. And then Nate turned to her and to Mike, Oh, that's you. And it's like... Oh boy, that would uh, that would that was one I want to forget. Another one involving the same involving the same girl Emma. We were in band class. It was my friend Tim, Emma, and I, and I'm sort of sitting by her, you know, thinking she was cute, or whatever. And my uh, friend Tim, he comes up to me, he's like, "Oh, T, you have a bat in the cave." And so I'm trying to be funny, like I actually, I actually didn't know what it means. So I was trying to be funny, like. Oh, what does that mean? mean that you have a booger in your nose. I'm like, well, there goes that relationship. <laughs> oh, that was, oh, that was the most awkward thing in the world. Like, I'm trying to, like, talk to this girl. And, oh, uh, <laughs> that, that was the worst. Probably, I think the first story was the worst, but that had to be somewhere close. I don't even want to think about any of these other ones. If that smoke detector goes out one more time, I'm going to smack it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, these these things actually happen. And I wish they didn't. And, um, yeah. If, uh, if I think of any more embarrassing things, I'll make a part two. I hope I don't. But also that's YouTube content, so I hope I do. Also, 
Maybe I can think of something from high school in the next video. Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Okay, this one isn't really awkward, awkward, but it's just sort of, it made me want to punch this kid. Uh, his name's Leo. And we have this girl named Anya, who's three years younger than me. This girl named Gabby, three years older than me. And so I'm sitting at birthday with Gabby, who's three years older. And this kid named Leo walked by, and he's like, uh, TSC, you went from younger to older. And I wanted to smack. <laughs> I wanted to smack. <laughs> oh, that was, that was the worst. That was the freaking worst. But, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. I haven't recorded some before. I don't know when this one's going up or anything, but, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.